don't belong in my world, Bella. I belong with you. This is the last time you'll ever see me. Please just promise me you won't do anything reckless. It takes everything Rob and Kristen, or Bella and Edward, created in Twilight and destroys it at the beginning when he leaves. And then it has to rebuild it, or Jacob, you know, has to rebuild Bella. And then it's kind of destroyed at the end again. It's an emotional roller coaster. It's all over the place. You'll experience so many different feelings watching this film. Bella! Run! Jake, run! I always connected more with with New Moon, I really understood where he was coming from, and I wanted to get more of the character which he shows in New Moon in, in Twilight, but it was difficult to make, you know, everyone was worried he looked too depressing. <laughs> it would be too depressing all the time, so, um, yeah, so it ended up being kind of uh, kind of odd in, in Twilight, but in this one, I really understood it well. What if I'm not the hero? What if I'm the bad guy? You're not. The reason Twilight felt sort of, uh, kinetic, like a very, like, uh, like the energy was like uh, sort of hard to grasp, was because the whole story was about not being able to grasp that energy, but, but going after it with full force and, and not caring about the consequences. And that sort of infiltrates New Moon because she's been told that she was absolutely wrong. And so now it's, it's a more considerate, mature approach to the same ideas. New Moon is different in that it it also becomes more dangerous, it becomes more real. 